Wow, kids are fickle arseholes, aren't they? Hey guys, Exodogon here for another review of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns Episode 4, Charisma Duelist, Go Onizuka. So let's get in our chairs, let's hop on the Vrain train and talk about this latest episode. Little disclaimer before we start, I've actually not been watching the uh, the, the previews of the episodes at the end of each episode. I kind of don't want to, I kind of like going into a show fresh. So, if for my sake, because I do read the comments and I do reply, if for my sake you couldn't reply and talk about the previews, I would appreciate it. I'm sure some of you might as well, but I'm going to ask you not to do that because I actually didn't clock the, uh, the nice the Hanoi guy was actually Onizuka. I probably should have put the two together, but I didn't click it and it showed it in the preview and someone actually said, oh, it's, it's Onizuka in disguise. And I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of ruined it for me now. So yeah, I don't watch previews. I do read the comments. So please, please, please do not really restrain yourself from trying to put anything of the, about the previews in the comments. The episode starts off with Go, Go Onizuka, uh, go into this uh, orphanage. He's got a lot of presents, only the only assumption he's going to give the presents to these orphans. He then looks into one of the rooms to see that all these kids that used to admire him are now admiring Playmaker. Go is not happy about all this, to say the least, and he's just like, no, that's, I'm pissed off. That's, it's wound me up. It's wound me up. We then see Go actually practicing on a D board, kind of training to do the whole serving thing, and he gets blown back. I don't know how, how the board is there, if it was a training board or what. I didn't quite get it, but apparently that's how it works. So he was training on that board, but it wasn't his real D board, and he was in... I don't know, because it, it looks like... From that little bit, it looked like he actually... Him himself, his physical body got transported. But that can't be right. And the fact he got blown out of his own room, that, that confused me. I was like, well, if it's virtual, how did he get blown out of his own... Anyway, it was just bizarre. We then go back to Soul Technologies where Zizen, after failing to actually hire Go, is trying to look for someone else to face Playmaker, only to then be approached by Go and like, no, I want to challenge him, you're going to set it up. Zizen asks what he wants and Go just says, I just want to be the champion who defeated Playmaker. He's like, oh, fair enough. Yusuke, who at this point already seen this Knights of Hanoi guy floating around, you know, challenging him and shit, runs home where uh, Ignis, in his duelist, is getting what I can only assume is a massage from the from the helper droid. I I don't, I don't get it. I, I assumed Ignis was going to try and use the droid to actually escape, but he's using him as a slave? It was quite bizarre. But Yusuke came back early. He, got, he quickly got put back. He's like, oh, I've been here all along, and I have not moved. Uh, hey, Yusuke! Back from school! Hey, man! Hey, how, how are you doing? Turns out Yusuke has got a little secret room in his in his little crappy house. Um, there is a, a secret portal to Vrains, apparently. Yusuke also gets given the physical copy of his new Link Summon monster. So, we got it actually got created in real time. I don't know why they're making such a big deal about him using real cards if they're all dueling in the Vrains. Maybe there might be some duels where he's going to duel in the real world. I hope so. I'd like to see. I'd like to see a bit of old school dueling at some point. Not necessarily now, but I like the idea that he will, he has to duel in, in this world with an old like a, his old duelist sort of thing. He enters the world and meets the Knight of Hanoi, who then like reveals himself to be Go. It's Go. He's basically made his avatar. He uses this guy as like, ah, I'm not really a Knight of Hanoi. It's me, Go. I'm going to challenge you now. And he's just like, yeah, I'm not bothered, mate. He actually goes to leave. However, a giant cage befalls the brains. Yusuke now can't log out. He's like, whoa, I can't. I can't log out. Oh, he's like, ah, oh, shit. Go's basically like, uh, you know, I I'm, assu I'm assuming you know how this is going to work. You beat me, this shit turns off. You don't beat me, you don't get out. As simple as that. So the duel starts. All while this is happening, we cut back to the guy. I can't remember who he is. I haven't mastered all the characters' names yet. But the guy who's been helping you secure, he's kind of like typing away going, oh shit, I better fucking figure this out. And he basically starts typing away. He's trying to find a back door. So... That could suggest maybe Yusuke might actually lose this duel. And I think he might. I think Yusuke might lose the duel 
and you know he's going to be trapped in there and then the back door's going to come in who knows we'll just have to wait and see so the door goes about as backwards and forth, back and forth between go and Yusuke uh goes actually i thought go was going to be like a more of a boxer sort of thing turns out he's actually a pro wrestler he's got his his gimmick is a pro wrestler and i actually really like that i think mean, that's really cool he uh he summons uh like wrestling based monsters uh the gang i think they're a like genki art i think genki i think the name of Goki, in other words, Goki, and I think Goki's Japanese has something to do with wrestling. Someone, so quote me on that, educate me, because uh, I know Goki, I'm pretty sure the word Goki is referencing wrestling in some regard in you in Japanese, um, but um, I liked it. He he's an entertain. It turns it turns out his dual t dueling type is entertainer duelist. He actually lets people beat him. Um, to a point where he looks like he's going to lose and then he makes a big comeback. Pretty much like every protagonist in Yu-Gi-Oh! Which I kind of like that. I like that they sort of bring bring a point to that because in, in, in the show it goes, oh yeah, he lets, pe he lets his, his dueling style is he lets people beat him down but then he comes back and you're just like, I don't give a shit about that old school type of play. And there's actually some on, you know, you know, spectators saying, oh yeah, Go's play style is outdated, you know, playmakers demand and stuff. As the duel goes back and forth, uh, Yusuke does get some good hits, knocking down like half of his life points, like straight away like that. We cut to the kids back at the uh, at the orphanage who are watching, cheering Playmaker on like a bunch of arseholes. I'm not being funny. That's a pretty dick move. Because it turns out Go is actually, I think he's not only an orphan himself. He might even be from this orphanage, and he constantly he only duels to make money to support this orphanage and to get you know everything he does. From what it's from what it explains, everything goes does goes towards this orphanage and now the kids are supporting playmaker and his manager's like yeah you know kids are just like that um you know I, you know he's doing this to get the respect of the kids back which makes go quite an admirable character i'm looking and going yeah all right go okay all right yeah all right. he's an orphan i like it it's starting it's it's getting to that point where we're, we're getting our side characters who have like real very real sort of backgrounds and you know you kind of connect with him a bit more i mean i'm like i'm just i'm liking the fact that he's dueling uh not necessarily for his own pride he's kind of dueling because he wants the admiration of the kids like he wants the kids to see him him as the true hero because he's like because when you think about it playmaker's not really a hero he's a hacker you know he's not he kind of works out he's kind of operating outside outside the law in many ways and 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 goes basically like no i'm gonna i'm gonna exploit that i'm gonna I am going to beat you because I'm the hero, you're not the hero. So it's a very interesting dynamic, to say the least. So as it looks like Go is on the ropes, as it were, um, he, you know, he's actually down for the count. It's, uh, they actually start doing a three count because that's kind of part of his gimmick. Like, it looks like he's about to win and the crowd will start counting. Like in WWE, go one, two, and he kicks out. I, I, I half expected JR to be, oh my God, King, he's up, he's up. He gets up, does fucking Roman Reigns super. Well, he doesn't do that, but he puts his his hand on his fist like that, like he's like he's gonna cock it and do a fucking Superman punch. And then he um, he goes and actually link summons this really powerful monster and just fucking summons. Basically, he summons the monster and boosts its attack to the point where he's like, if this attack goes through, you, it's like, uh, you're fucking dead. Like you are dead if this attack goes through. Uh, and then the episode cuts out, and then that's it. We don't see it. It's a two-part duel, so we're looking forward to seeing uh, seeing the outcome. Overall, this is a fun duel, fun episode. It was nice um, seeing more of Go and like learning more about his character. You know, he's not just some arrogant champion. There's actually more to him than that. Um, I think the the bell that we mentioned it's got something to do with the orphanage maybe it was made by the orphans maybe it was made by uh, his brother who's in the orphanage and is now dead it's got to be there's got to be a dead relative somewhere there's got to be there's just got to be uh all in all i think yusuke might win the duel because it's still early on and he might not he might not lose just yet i think he should though i think yusuke should lose this duel because go you know just to demonstrate go's power you know it's like no i'm still there's a reason i'm a champion dickhead and it's just you know i like i would like it if go wins the duel and he wins it and um and yusuke uh yusuke is like shit i'm trapped but then his mate comes in with that back door and he still gets away uh scot free with ignis i mean he's probably gonna win because let's face it He's probably gonna win. Let's face it. Um, but it will be interesting to just see, sort of, see how the duel progresses. One other thing I liked is when Ignis uh, brought up his stats. It showed all the different stats. Now these stats might mean fuck all, but actually, 
They might not because it showed like you had higher tax stats and all. But I actually looked at it and the live stat was actually quite low. And I think the reason is because um, Go let his opponents hit him hard so he can sort of run his life points low and then come back for a big win. So um, it's all fanfare apparently. It's all it's all fucking it's all a display. It's all a show. He's an entertainer. His girl. So I I do like him. Uh, like I said before, I didn't watch the uh, the previews. I'm not going to watch the previews, so please don't post anything about the previews in the comments below. I want to I want to kind of have an idea. I want to go in. I want to go in my, with my mind fresh with my own theories and stuff. But I think I think Yusuke's going to win. But I think there might be a sort of there might either be a newfound respect. Or it might just kind of it's either going to be one of two things. Yusuke's going to win. And they'll either get a newfound respect and you know be like that, or Yusuke's going to win. And get and you know fuck off and go and be like I'll get you next time and then the second time they duel it'll be like oh they become friends kind of thing um, or Yusuke's either gonna lose if Yusuke loses the duel and he's trapped he's gonna just get out through that back door that thing he's gonna open for him and he's gonna be like right I, I got a, a lot you know and I think he should lose because I like the idea of him being like oh fuck I didn't realize how strong Go was actually it would be quite a nice realization to realize he actually has to get stronger. Um, so if he does lose, that's how he's going to get away, essentially. Uh, the only other thing I can think of, if he's not going to win or lose, is the duel might actually get cut off. Like, his mate might open up the back door and you just come out and just be like, right, I forfeit, I'm going, I'm not, I don't need to do this, I'm getting out, sort of thing. I don't think Yusuke will do that, though, because it just seems like Yusuke wouldn't bail out of a duel like that. No, I don't really know a protagonist to do that, so I don't think that's going to happen. That's, that's the least likely of the three. Uh, oh no, I think he's going to win. And we'll just get to see how the story progresses from there, really. Still interested to see what uh, Emma's going to do. Whether she's going to figure out who Yusuke is. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? I don't fucking know. All in all, guys, it was a great episode. It was good seeing a bit of dueling. It was it was another speed duel, which again, because the show's probably going to be more based around speed duels, I'm not surprised we got a speed duel. I would like to, event I would like to see an old school, like the... I think in the show it's called a it's called a masters duel or um, champions duel or something. There's two types of duels. There's there's the, the speed duels, which is what the, on the wave, and then there's the mass. I think I'm pretty sure it's called a masters duel, a master duel or something. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but it's something along those lines. And the, that duel is essentially old school dueling. It's like a full on duel essentially. Uh, and I, I, I do think we're going to get that. I really do. And I do think we're going to get live action dueling. Like I say live action dueling. We're going to get dueling in the real world. Dueling outside of the range. Because Yusuke is getting all of his cards made into real cards. They're being created in the physical plane, if it were. And why would they do that? Why would they show that? Why would they make a point to that if it wasn't going to come back into it in the end? I, I don't know, maybe it's just to advertise the cards, I guess. But I like to think that at some point near the end of the series, Yusuke is going to, the Vrains is going to get destroyed, the Vra or is going to get shut down, and Yusuke is going to have to take on, he's going to have to take on the mantle of Playmaker, but in real time, he's going to have to go into like, oh, I'm actually, he's going to duel, and he's going to have to reveal himself as Playmaker. I, I really think there's going to be a point where they're not dueling in Vrain, in the Vrain's network. Um, but I don't think it's going to be until a very long time yet. Guys, all in all, I, I love this, I like this episode. I liked seeing, I liked it focusing more on Go, because I think we're going to be getting that now. I think these next couple of episodes, we're going to start seeing the additional characters. So I think after this duel sorted, we're going to focus on that other girl, the, the, the idol duel, I think that's what her name was. So we're going to focus on her. She's going to have a duel. Then maybe Emma, then maybe Revolver. Who knows? But I think we're going to start, it's going to, might start focusing more on these other characters as well as Yusuke as well. So I'm really interested to see where it goes. I'm still liking the show. I think the, this was a good episode. We got to see some good duels. Um, classic dueling in the sense of it was ex um, you know, it was just fucking exposi exposition, a lot of it. But, you know, we got to see some good turns. We got to see Go do his big fuck off summon, his Link summon. Um, and it looks like, again, as, as always, it ended with, oh, it looks like Yusuke's gonna lose. But we know for a fact he's got that face down card, which he has. He's got his, he put that face down card first turn. That's going to come back into it. He's going to attack. He's going to play that, and the duel's going to carry on, and he's probably going to win. But all in all, it was a good episode to watch. So yeah, um, that that's my review, my review of it.
<laughs> so what did you think guys let me know in the comments below any particular theories you have again please do not talk about the previews of the next episode i don't want to know i might even remove any comments that even hint about the preview i don't want to know i want to go in fresh i don't want you to be all like know-it-alls and be like oh well i think he's going to turn to a flock of seagulls because that's what i saw in the preview <laughs> Don't do that. Just out of respect for out of respect for me, out of respect for anyone else, whatever. Just don't don't do it. Alright? I wanna see it. I wanna I wanna you know, I wanna see it myself. Appreciate it. Feel free to like, share and subscribe and all that crap and I will see you next time. Bye bye.